This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here showing off Driver Booster 4. This is the 4.2 version from IOBit. What Driver Booster 4 does is scan your entire system, your Windows system, and look for everything that needs driver updates. All your components, whether it's motherboard components, sound card components, USB components, uh, everything in your system. So you can see I'm running through the scan right now to see what needs updating in my system. You can see I have 11 outdated device drivers and 3 outdated game components right off the bat. Um, some really old stuff here that's a couple of years old. There's some things here that show last driver 8.3.2015. Um, some small stuff that needs to be updated. Obviously, I have an outdated Adobe Air, and my JRE is a little outdated. So with one click, I can click Update Now, and then it updates all your drivers in one shot, downloads them from online, auto-installs them. The good thing about Driver Booster 4 is it takes a snapshot and backs up every driver so if any driver gives you any issues you can roll back to a previous driver without any issue at all which is a really great feature now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to greatly accelerate the actual time it took to update these drivers so I increased the clip speed by quite a bit here it did not take just merely a minute it actually took a good uh, 9 to 10 minutes to fully find and download and install these drivers so I just had to boost the clip speed here so I didn't waste your time while you sat and watched this video for a whole 14-15 minutes just to watch it increment 1%, 2%, 5%, etc. You can see when it starts updating drivers it shows you which driver updates require a reboot of the system. It would say completed if a reboot isn't necessary and it tells you when a reboot is necessary. So here we go finishing the installing of the finalized drivers again this took about actually 13 minutes total i just compressed it for the sake of uh you guys watching the video after it completes it lets you know now that a reboot needs to take effect for your system so typically you'd want to reboot after this but again remember everything was backed up so if you run into any issues you could always restore to a previous driver So again, I was scrolling through the list here showing you all the various drivers that it actually updated. It shows you when they're up to date, it shows you when the install date is of the latest driver, so you kind of know how far back it goes. There's obviously a lot of drivers at Windows Systems. There's just the motherboard alone has usually a dozen different types of drivers for all the different components on the motherboard, if not more. Now before I reboot, let me show the toolbox here. So in the Toolbox Pro Driver Booster Pro, you can do various things like fix your network failure, clean all your unplugged devices, which removes any unplugged devices that you have, like drivers and various other components that are installed. You can hear, you can see how I'll remove all my unplugged devices. These may be old, like microphones, headsets, keyboards, where the drivers and all the various components are left behind, maybe for six months, years even. So this is a good way to clean up and just get that stuff off your system. There's no reason to have that just gunking up space and, and take up space on your system. So uh, as you can see, it's running through here, all the various USB devices. And I've plugged in so many USB devices on my system compared to most people, being the fact that I review USB devices. I have dozens and dozens of various USB devices with drivers just left over. So 119 unplugged devices cleaned. That's how many just random USB devices I've probably not used over the years after the review. You could do fixed device errors. If you have sound card problems, you could do fixed no sound errors, get system information. And again, like I said, there's a lot more you could do with Driver Booster 4 than just simply updating your drivers. And of course, it has two skins. You could skin it black, skin it white. You could set the transparency level of the application itself. Again, these are cosmetic features, but they're nice little things to have. You could set to where it as a background picture. You could set the font size so you can make the font larger or smaller. It, it's a pretty full-featured program, and I really recommend IOBit Driver Booster 4. So here I'm showing you where you could do individual driver backups, and you can also restore drivers, and the, as well as backup and do system restores as you need to. Thank you for watching.